Chapter 3 S Setup in SSA When you create a new project in SSA, the first step is to configure the options to fit the project requirements. To do this, you will make changes in the Project Options dialog, Analysis Options dialog box as well. In this chapter, you will learn about SCS TR 55, Rain Gauges, Rainfall Designer, IDF Curve Zones, Analysis Options. Before beginning this chapter, run the Chapter 3 22049555201.exe file. Double click on the file, browse to the C drive, place in a Civil 3D Projects folder, click on Zip. This will overwrite any existing files that are in that folder. About hydrology methods. In SSA, the input specification for each hydrology method are different. If you choose the SCS TR-55 method, you are required to specify surfaces characteristics that affect time of concentration for each subbasin. Rain gauge data is required to specify the quantity of water produced by the storm event used in your analysis. If you choose rational method, you will use the F dot provided IDF curves to specify the rainfall intensity of a storm type for the location of your site. This section of the training guide provides a brief overview of, on how to use SSA, if configured to use the subbasins and rainfall data sources for the SCS TR55 method and the rational method. The examples we use to perform an analysis of the network later in this training guide will use the rational method. SCS TR55 method. When the SCS TR55 method is selected in the project's options, the data tree displays subbasins and raid gauge nodes. Subbasins are where you can set up weighted curve numbers. The rain gauges supply rainfall data for one or more subbasins in the study area. The rainfall data can either be a user-defined time series or described in an external file. Several different popular rainfall file formats are supported as well as user-defined formats. The principal input data of a rain gauge include rainfall data type, recording time interval, source of rainfall data, and the name of rainfall data sources. The rainfall designer. The SSA includes a rainfall designer which allows you to select any location within the USA and it will provide the designed rainfall for the specified storm frequency. Alternatively, a user-defined rainfall can be specified. Then the appropriate storm distribution is selected and the design storm is then created. Multiple design storms can be created. The rainfall designer provides the following capabilities. It can automatically determine design rainfall based upon study location for 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, 50, and 100 years after return frequencies. It defines any storm duration. It, can, it shows multiple storm events can be created and num numerous storm distributions including SCS, Huff, Eastern Washington, Florida, Chicago storm, Hurricane Hazel, and etc. The example screenshot of the rain designer, you can access it by clicking the rainfall designer button from the time series dialog box. The rational method. When the rational method is selected in the project's option, the data tree displays subbasins and IDF curves nodes as shown below. Exercise 3.1 Project Options Start SSA by double clicking the desktop shortcut icon. Next, 
double click the Projects Options node in the Data Tree to open the Projects Option dialog. Make the following changes in the General tab of the Projects Option dialog. Set the Hydrology G method to Rational. Set the Time of Concentration or TOC method to SCSTR-55. Set the Minimum Allowable TOC to 10 minutes. For hydraulic routing specifications, set the link routing method to kinetic wave. Leave all the other settings in the general tab unchanged and click OK. Exercise 3.2 Analysis Options Double click the Analysis Option node in the data tree to open the Analysis Option dialog box. On the General tab, set the duration for a 24-hour period by changing the following options. Under Dates, change the Start Analysis to Today's Date. Under Date Changes for End Analysis, set on Tomorrow's Date. The analysis duration should now display one day, indicating 24 hours. On the Storm Sections tab of the Analysis Option dialog box, set the radio button to Single Storm Analysis and use the returned period to three years using the drop-down list. Make no other changes and click OK to dismiss the Analysis Option dialog box. Next, save the project. Save the project by selecting the File pull-down menu and choosing Save As. In the Save As dialog box, browse to the SSA folder under the Drainage folder in your project. Give the file a name, Propose Drainage SR61. Click Save and then close SSA. Go to the File pull down menu and choose Exit. 